after all this time, I am back. Needed a little mental break, but I missed it. I missed every second of it. I don't know if I needed a break from this because I honestly missed the creative outlet. So, but I took some time, worked on my mental health, feel a million times better, and um, now I'm back. If you ever feel like that, I recommend talking to someone. I didn't this time because I am stubborn. And I know that eventually I'm going to have to because these things, they always kind of come back around and it probably would be over a lot sooner if I did. So don't be stubborn like me. <sighs> what is going on everyone? Josh here, Half-Ass Beer Review. And today I'm back and I'm ready to drink some beer. This Today, we have a can of Prison Pals Smoothie Series Number 1, a smoothie-style sour ale with pineapple, mango, and passion fruit, 5% ABV, brewed and canned by Prison Pals Brewing Company in Doral, Florida, right? P -p Prison, Prison Pals would be a hard word to say, two words to say five times fast. Prison Pals, Prison Pals, Prison Pals, Prison Pals, Prison Pals. Okay, maybe not. I just can't talk right normally so i almost messed that up but this is a smooth and cloying sour ale with an obscene amount of tropical fruit relative sourness two out of five there's a little scale on the back right so i've never had prison pals brewing company i picked this up while we were in tennessee uh first time going into total wine so i'm excited about this one i think this is going to be a thick one but again the the relative sourness only being two out of five i'm not too pumped on let's see if i can get that close enough without it whiting out the camera i don't know if you're gonna be able to tell who knows all right enough talking about it let's uh crack this open let's pour it look at it smell it taste it and see what it's got going on Ooh, i'm loving that pineapple juice look to it i tell you what i love pineapples you know i love pineapples what else we got pineapple mango and passion fruit Yeah. Okay. Let's let's let you look at this a little bit. I don't know if it's going to focus back to this. Probably not. I wish it would. Maybe I ought to change the focus sensitivity on my camera. I'm not 100%. But yeah, nice, beautiful pineapple. This is a pineapple juice smelling beer. Sorry, I got the burps. I ate a whole damn tombstone pizza by myself for lunch. And I shouldn't have done that because it's just kind of sitting in my stomach. But yeah, very nice pineapple smelling beer. The mango and the passion fruit is just kind of an accent on the back of this one. But it smells just like pineapple juice. I'm excited about that. Not as thick as I thought it was going to be. There's a little beer fiber floating around like uh, seeds. If there were chia seeds in beer, which this isn't definitely chia seeds, but a smaller version of chia seeds floating in this beer. Uh, we're going to try this beer now. We're going to stop BSing about it. As always on Half-Ass Beer Review, we do little drink, big drink. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Oh, yeah. Big pineapple juice flavors to this one. Great mouthfeel. Coats the mouth. It's like you're drinking Tropicana. Honestly, that's kind of what it feels like. Big pineapple, big mango, a little bit of passion fruit there on the back end. And then after the swallow, you're just left wanting more of that pineapple goodness. That's kind of that little accent after the swallow is gone. Just pineapple popping on your tongue. I love this. I need another drink. Yeah, again, nice, not super thick, and it doesn't last very long. Yeah, this is a this is a great tasting beer. The flavor doesn't linger very long, so you want to drink more of it. It drinks really easy. You can take big, huge drinks of it. It's a 16 ounce can, so it's going to go down. It, you're going to need a whole four pack just to enjoy it for, I don't know, an hour. It's not overly sweet, so it's not like it's going to bog you down or anything like that. It's just a nice pineapple juice tasting beer. That's going to do it for this episode of Half-Ass Beer Review. Thank you all for stopping by and joining me once again. I know, I'm sorry it took me so long to put out another video, but here I am at it again. Hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you had a good time. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and all that good stuff. Before you go, check out my friend's Banter and Bevel for the best pop culture wrap-up of the week. And my friend, 
Drastin the Dungeon Master has seven dungeons on Twitch Monday nights, 7 o'clock for the best dungeons and dragons around. You will not be disappointed. The links are down there. And always remember to keep your fridges full and have a great night.